Hello and welcome to this edition of Dirt Talk with Drake York and I got the USAC CRA points leader Brody Rowe sitting alongside me. Brody, it's good to have you. Yeah, good to be here. Thanks for having me. So Brody, let's start from the beginning. What was your first introduction to the sport of sprint car racing? Oh, I've been around it since uh, I think I was two weeks old when I went to my first race. Uh, Hanford, when my dad was working with uh, Mike Kirby, he was crew chief for Kirby for uh, uh, probably 13 years until I started racing go-karts. So been around for a long time. And uh, talk about your dad, uh, he was a pretty good sprint car racer around here. Yeah, he was uh, He was alright, I guess he's pretty he's pretty modest about it. He uh, always brags how he won a World Outlaw Heat Race at Ascot one night. That was, that's a big claim to fame, so. Uh, yeah, he, uh, I don't think, I don't know if he ever won any features or not, but he was, he was good. He ran for four, four or five years, so. And then uh, crew chiefed after that. So you talked about the go-karts, and I believe you also ran quarter midgets at one point when you were five, and uh, in the sprint car midget article that you uh, featured in, said you kind of got bored of it when you were five, but now you're the one of the big stars in the USAC CRA series. What made you want to race more as you grew older? Uh, I don't know. Um, I think just being around it longer and, and you know going to the races every weekend, it just kind of fed into it. You know, when I was young, I think I was... Uh, Five when I uh, shared a midget with uh, Justin Kears, and um, I didn't like hanging out the side of it and going in those circles. I, uh, I don't know, I, I, it wasn't that much fun to me. I, we were riding dirt bikes at the time. I wanted to go out in the desert and ride my dirt bike. So we did that until I was 13. Then we did a go kart school, and you know, growing up going to the sprint car races, it just kind of, you know, fed in into something I wanted to do eventually. So and we started racing go karts, uh, you know, later down the road than most kids. In 2010, you were the Ventura Weekly Series Rookie of the Year. Was it a big victory for you at the time that happened, or oh, yeah. do you consider it a small victory? No, it was big at the time. It, uh, you know, that was a that was a good start for us to, you know, for me to kind of get my feet wet and get some experience and run around Ventura. At the time, it was real big. There were uh, there were nights where they get you know high 30 car counts. So uh, just to go out there and, and get some seat time on a small track, tight quarters like that, and learn the car control it was it was big who has advised you most in your racing career i know your dad's got to be one of the people at the top of the list yeah it definitely him i mean since since day one it's been uh you know him him and i you know for a few years and then uh, my good buddy zach jumped on uh in 2014 you know he kind of helped us in 2013 and 2014 it's been the three of us and i got a few other good friends that uh help us out but uh you know, my dad's been the biggest influence to, you know, my racing and, and my driving and, and how we work on things. So, uh, you know, it's, it's all to him to, you know, where, where I'm at now. Um, do you remember, what do you remember most about your first uh, sprint car win? I know that had to be huge for you. Yeah, that was a big one. Uh, well, the, the, my first win was Wags Dash 2010. Um, and then my first actual weekly sprint car win was uh, in 2011 with, with the VRA series and we came from 14th to pass, uh, pass Corey Cruzman for the win. So that was pretty cool. That was, uh, that's one I won't forget, to pass Corey around Ventura for, for a VRA one was pretty awesome. Yeah, that's got to be uh, something special to pass Corey Cruzman and Ventura has always seemed to have tough competition. As a young driver, was it hard to race with pretty good field of cars a uh, tight little track like Ventura yeah yeah for sure I mean it, it, when I first started there the the field of cars that were there was was so tough that uh you know I remember one week we ran like third and then the next week we didn't even make the feature so that was a yeah you know, it, it's a big it's a big spread through the field of, of tough cars to beat and it really showed you know my second year running it really kind of put me in my place, you know, and to tell me this isn't easy, you know, there's a lot of good cars out there, but uh, really, you know, put it in perspective. How supportive is the USAC CRA fan base to you? I woke up this morning here at Calistoga, rode my bike like I usually do, and at least 30% of the people were walking around wearing Brody Rowish shirts, so I know you've got to be a popular guy. How supportive is the fan base? Yeah, it's huge, you know, I mean, without fans, we wouldn't be doing this, so, um, you know, as as years go, and I see more and more shirts walking around, it's 
it's big. It's uh, it's motivational to come out here and do what we do, to see that people enjoy it and, and you know, our, our fans and having fun and uh, keep coming out to events like this. I mean, the campground is full here, so that's it's awesome to awesome to have that fan base who runs sprint car racing out here in California. Last few years, you went back to Indiana to race in the historic Indiana Sprint Week. First off, how tough is it to race somewhere like Indiana with all these tough USAC national drivers, and then just to race for almost a week straight? Yeah, yeah that's two different uh, two different things that make it tough. Uh, you know, past what we do out here to run, you know, seven races in nine nights is is one thing, and then to have your have your stuff together to be competitive every night is another. You know, this year. This year we went back and made uh, five features, I think. Um, missed the other two by, well, missed one by one spot in the B main, coming from deep. Uh, but it, it's tough. You gotta, you gotta be on your game out there and qualify good. And that's that's something I always struggle with is qualifying. So uh, it set us back a lot this year. But we came back and we learned a lot, and, and we're applying it to the car here at home now. And uh, you talk about how tough it is to race with the best in the country, if not the world, with non-wing sprint cars. How does the racing scene in Indiana with non-wing sprint cars compare to out here in California? It's it's pretty different out there. You know, out there you got, uh, you know, 10 or 12 cars that are always, you know, they, they're they going to be your top 12 and, you know, contending for wins. And out here there's, you know, five or six guys uh, that can win a race every week and you know to go out there you know a b main at indiana sprint week is like is tougher than running a feature out here at, at to a point you know but it's uh it really makes you bring out your best and put your best foot forward and you know try to put the best race car you can and if you don't you you take something and you learn from it and try to do it the next night and that's the cool thing about it is you go run one night and if you struggle uh, hopefully you learn something, and you only got to wait 24 hours to go try it again, and see if see if you learn something. So that's it's it's huge going back there, and it's a big learning experience. Last year you were featured in the highly popular Sprint Car Midget magazine. Um, first off, I know before we started the cameras rolling here, um, I know that was kind of a surprise for you. So what's it like to be the cover story in a big magazine like Sprint Car and Midget? Yeah, that was cool. Uh, you know, Pat Sullivan. Uh, talked to me when we were at Sprint Week uh, last year about doing a story and uh, at the time he didn't say anything about being the cover or anything and uh, the story came out and I got the magazine we were on the cover so that was that was pretty uh, that was a pretty exciting surprise to, to see that and it's pretty cool that you know they put a California Sprint car on the cover of Sprint Car Midget magazine. Yeah for sure we enjoy seeing our California drivers on the cover of such a big magazine. Brody who'd you like to thank for getting you to this point now? Um, my dad, uh, my buddy Zach, and Joe and Tyler all help us on the car. And uh, HD Industries, they're a, they're a huge one. They give us a shop and a power plant to run. And, uh, they, they keep us coming to the track mainly in Burris Racing, uh, Biker Bruce Fisher, uh, Norma Leonard, Lee Leonard, uh, Oki Race Cars, CSI Shocks, uh, Maxim Chassis, uh, Driven Racing Walls. There's a lot of people that go into this. Uh, my grandpa. Uh, my uncle, you know, it's a it's a big family deal. My mom, my wife, Taylor. Uh, there's a lot of people that go into it and couldn't do it without everybody. Brody, also, I forgot to talk about this earlier, but you're in the midst of a massive point battle uh, with Damian, Damian Gardner. Um, just talk about how close it is. And Damian Gardner's got a lot of experience racing for the championships. He's got six of them, and uh, you're looking for your first. So just talk about this. Um, crazy point battle yeah in. yeah I think uh, we're, we're three points up now coming into Calistoga so um, last year we came into Calistoga with a point lead and we we're about a hundred out by the end of the week we had a terrible week so um, you know that's that's an experience thing I hope that you know this year we we have that experience we lost it last year uh, we were there to win it last year and, and we lost it and that I think a lot off of a experience level so Hopefully now we got that behind us. We got some experience on on how what we need to do to win the championship, and uh, we can get through this week. And you know it, it's going to be tough to beat him. He's, you know he's one of the best. So um, we just gotta we just gotta do what we do, and and hopefully it all works out right.
that's going to wrap up our show today. Thank you, Brody. Thank Best you, of luck this week in California Sprint Week. Thank you.